but what the fuck is up with y'all niggas, man? We back with another reaction, nigga. What the fuck? Stop playing with them. You know we be coming hard with them reactions. This one finna get nasty, though. You know we finna see some real nasty stuff on this one. Ugh, I know some of y'all like being nasty. But anyways, <laughs> don't tell nobody else that. But anyways, uh, we got the 10 biggest fast food failures. I ain't gonna talk y'all head off, you know what I'm saying? Uh, We gonna get straight to action, you know what I'm saying? Where my uh, headphones? Boom. We gonna get right to action. Let's get it. Boom. Dolls has pasta dinners. Lots of spaghetti with delicious meatballs. Fast food items have the ability to become major hits, like the Big Damn, you know, this shit finna get nasty. However, sometimes the choices fast food restaurants make are more flopper than whopper. Hey, I like that. More me. flopper than whopper. Here are some of those she got bars. Epic fails. I might need to sign her. Fast food failures of all Three God motions. Long John Silver's Big Catch Meal. Welcome aboard. Bro, do people still eat Long John? I mean, not Long John. Wait, it is Long John. This seafood yeah. Yeah, Long John. Do people still eat that? Long John Let me know right now. 2013. It contained a 7.5 ounce piece of haddock served with a pile of onion rings and a side of hush puppies. That don't Long sound John bad. Silvers described mm. the meal as the largest fish we have ever offered. Oh, they did a big fish. It was a game changer. The big catch meal was launched that's, in That May still don't sound bad though. Like it ain't nothing. By August of that same year, due to a significant all stretching, low key. It turns out that Long John Silvers was also serving up a shockingly unhealthy amount of calories and fat. That's bad, but the meal contained more trans fats than they the like that's just abnormal. In 2 weeks. Much, much that, that shit was probably going to be illegal. The smell of it makes me feel fizzy, but was was the said. government really going to allow that this shit? This was attributed to the fact that these items were cooked up in a big vat of partially hydrogenated oil. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Oil. By the end of 2013, I don't know if y'all know what hydrogenated oil is, but we ain't going to get into that right now. For their fryers that would replace hydrogenated oil in their restaurants. This meal was actually panned as the worst restaurant meal in America by the Center for Science in the Public Interest. Well, that's hardly the image we want for Long John Silvers. So they was finna get on their ass that's for it. Gourmet rebrand. Lawsuit. Gourmet cooking for you. <laughs> Pizza Hut is basically known for serving greasy, cheesy yes. pizza. But in 2014, after shit, though, declining you know what I'm sales, they decided they wanted to appeal to foodie millennials and <clears throat> updated their menu to include new artisan like. options. They dubbed this rebrand Flavor of Now. Some of these artisan toppings included honey sriracha sauce, Peruvian cherry peppers, and Asiago crust. The company she, even reached out to some of the... They started to get more creative, if you ask me. New York City to help which is not bad and items that would creativity is everything foodies out there the food not good though but it's creative at the end of may 2014 the ceo of pizza hut's parent <clears throat> company yum brands incorporated admitted at a conference in new york city that the rebrand was not working that's a terrible call. What was once referred to as the biggest rebrand in the company's history was now the biggest flop they've A kick in the balls. At least in a long time. It turns out that they neglected one major thing. Their target audience just wanted cheap, greasy pizza. Within a and year, if you want cheap, Pizza Hut ended up making a complete... If you want cheap, greasy pizza, nigga, go to Little Caesars. Menu. McDonald's pizza. McDonald's has lots of stuff for dinner. Like you film Oh no. I'm glad this ain't work. Pizza chains at this time. The company McDonald's just want to do every damn thing. Like damn. McDonald's is like Walmart, nigga. The Walmart of fast food. By the early 1990s, McDonald's want to do everything which are aborted baby ass me. American locations. Pizza time. However, there were a lot of complications that came with this. Ooh, that shit look nasty. First, there was an equipment issue. The McDonald's that cheese was white as hell. Oven to cook, which was designed to quickly cook pizza dough from frozen within six minutes. Mm, this is hey man, y'all stop. <laughs> it meant that every hey man. single restaurant location would have to. Y'all making this shit popular? This McDonald's shit. Find room for it in their kitchen. Next, there was this shit a drive cheap as fuck. Issue. The boxes designed for the pizza <clears throat> didn't fit through the window, which meant. I don't know. About y'all, but I don't want to eat that cheap food. I can't. More renovations. I'm too. I'm too high quality for that. Minutes to cook and prepare, which is way too long to keep up with drive-through times. People frequently had to pull over. And, and I care for myself. Long time for their pizzas. Not only was this a flop, but it angered many popular pizza chains and prompted them to create smear campaign-style ads against McDonald's. Hey, that shit, you like got to. Ronald McDonald eat a cheeseburger. You got to. You know McDonald's is going prosper. King 
Halloween. Halloween. They the fucking most. What's it called? They the most uh known, bro. Like you know, you gotta go against the grain. Burger King was consumed by the Halloween spirit. It resulted in the Halloween Whopper being Didn't they added do that? to the menu. It was your average Whopper, but it was served on a spooky black bun. To achieve the dark hue, the buns were infused with A1 steak sauce. The burger itself also came in a cute mummy theme. Hey, I got a question. As an added bonus. It turns out that the burger How did how does that burger taste? Inducing the 1 to 10. Eh, on the scale 1 to 10. How does that burger taste? Because I used to want to try that, but I was unsure. Like, I ain't know. This shit definitely not safe. You're putting steak sauce in bread. Not safe. These niggas trying to kill y'all. Now they definitely trying to kill y'all. It just came as more of a shock to people who were not mentally prepared. <clears throat> for the experience. Holy fuck. Domino's Oreo dessert pizza. Our cookies the best. Man, diabetes. Was an interesting Who with me? Man, that shit crazy. iPhone. For $3.99, you could order a giant pizza-sized cookie from Domino's. You can already order a cookie pizza, nigga. Any purchase. The Oreo dessert pizza it ain't Oreo, but it's still diabetes. Giant chocolate chip cookie slathered in Oreos and super sweet sticky vanilla syrup. Most people agreed that this concoction was way too sweet and also too chewy. According to some reviews, the cookie portion was also pretty bland. It's that signature creamy filling that we bro, really why don't, care about. So why do y'all eat out, out so much, bro? Like, it's not the same. Y'all be eating out all the time. Y'all know these fast food chains can't cook. We just gonna keep it a stack. We gonna be honest. Homemade food tastes better than fast food, bro. Like, it tastes better. Like, way better. It ain't even no debate. And it don't taste as cheap as fast food because, well, obviously they, they use certain shit to make their food become or come out faster. They use certain methods to make their shit faster. So when you pull up to the window, they can already have it for you. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't take their time and cook that shit. I don't care, bro. Even if it's just a restaurant who ain't, you know, who actually takes time to prepare your shit. They still don't know what the fuck they doing. They not no, uh, what's it called? They not no top tier chefs. They don't got no Gordon Ramsay's back there. I, I guarantee you they don't got no Gordon Ramsay's behind that counter, nigga. <laughs> like, why do y'all, nigga, just eat at home, bro. Like, you can do this yourself. You can get creative on your own. You can tap into your own uh artistry and then whip up something. It's going to be the next big thing. You can make some money off that shit. You going to have niggas wanting to eat your shit all the time. Give, give you their money. Boy, they're gonna be they gonna be dying to give you money for that. I cannot wait to get off work so I can go and get him this money so I can get this new uh macaroni cheese bowl that he just made. People gonna be really dying to get your food, bro. Anyway, let's get it. Overall, it was unappealing and didn't last very long on the menu. Doesn't feel like there's much love in Domino's Pizza. No. While Domino's has At developed all. a substantial reputation for affordable pizza delivery, I used to love years, Domino's it too. Has never really been known for its desserts. It seems as though they've taken the hint. After trying to launch other types of dessert pizzas over the years, the company has seemingly decided to stick with brownies, cinnamon How are they bad at doing it though? For the time being. Eat a pizza once in a while. McDonald's spaghetti. McDonald's new pasta dinner. That shit nasty. But now, how are, how are they struggling to make a, a dessert pizza? You see, Papa John's did it. Papa John's shit was actually good, too. Like, it actually smacked. You know what I'm saying? Noodles covered in marinara sauce, topped with shredded cheese, and served in a cardboard container. In the late 1990s, hey, come on, dog. <laughs> this shit is sick right now. Like, they launched mixed spaghetti in some locations. They was going to serve it in a box, bro. Spaghetti in a box. And y'all was going to eat that shit, too. This time they tried a few varieties. Uh, I don't feel like making spaghetti today. I'm just gonna go get spaghetti in a box from McDonald's. But you gotta have some low ass respect for yourself to go and do that shit. People do not go to McDonald's for Italian food. Oh, my shit almost fell. Still, McDonald's did try to bring back their mixed spaghetti in other locations around the world. You can try it yourself, but you have to go to the Philippines. Bro, don't nobody want to go over there to try that shit? Keep that shit over there. 
Satisfries. It's time to get satisfied. In 2013, Burger King decided they needed to cater to a more health oh, no. what, what did they do this time? North America and decided that the best way to do this was to release healthier fries. Mmm. Is this organic? The Burger King Satis fries were made with a type of batter that was designed to absorb <clears throat> less of the frying oil. This way, you know what I'd be thinking? I'd be thinking they just be, they just be overthinking fries. this shit too much. Fries that were only four grams less. Y'all be thinking way too fries, much. And still contained 270 calories in a small serving, only about 70 <clears throat> calories less than regular fries. According to some reports, many customers started calling them saddest fries. Let's face it, when you're hungry for French fries, you don't care about about calorie content i want high cholesterol i want to eat bacon and butter. yeah your ass want to die too huh because you know you're not making well, it ain't even about dying begin with for example even though it's about all that money you will have to spend of healthier options because of all that shit hardening up in your body that's what it's really about because i know y'all care about money so that's what it's really about in a year burger king started discontinuing the saddest fries from their menu garbage day and went back to the good old greasy fries people know and bro the thing about burger king breeze the thing about burger king is they already not even one of the most popular food chains like people ain't supporting them like they support a mcdonald's or a popeyes or a chick-fil-a you know what i'm saying like burger king is under the radar like they've been around for so long but they still are technically under the radar nobody eats there you know what i'm saying people talk shit about their nuggets all the time people talk mad shit about their fries all the time, you know what I'm saying? Even though I used to love their fries, I used to defend them, but you already know me. I don't Yeah, okay, number one, I'm I'm vegan, so I don't eat none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? So y'all already know I'm not defending them now. But if we if we taking it back to a few years ago when I used to not give a fuck and I used to have low respect for myself, I would eat Burger King fries over McDonald's fries and all that eat any, any day. Like Yeah, any day. <clears throat> Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know what y'all was talking about disrespecting Burger King. I'll treat you to a Dairy Queen. Just like Burger King, Dairy Queen also decided to try to appeal to more health conscious customers. In 1990, Dairy Queen launched the Breeze. Dairy Queen. It was basically a blizzard Dairy Queen. made from fruit. I need y'all to understand something. Instead of ice cream. It lasted y'all have the name Dairy before the company finally in your name. And discontinued. It ain't nothing healthy about that. The problem was that it just didn't sell. Unless y'all started the selling like almond milk or something. That the frozen yogurt but that's not dairy. The store would often so, go bad or expire yeah, before the, they could the, sell the, the name is, the proof the is in the pudding. The name is in blizzard still isn't the name. actually healthy. Especially when you mix in a bunch of candy. I don't know if they made sense, but yeah, Dairy Queen, nigga like, nah, y'all not gonna have no healthy shit. technically lower in calories than a regular blizzard, but still had a ton of them when the mix-ins were added. Or perhaps the problem is that Dairy Queen was too early in their thinking. I really want to sort of make a healthy, low-fat... Shut your low ass up. <laughs> Now, frozen yogurt chains are incredibly popular, and people <clears throat> enjoy turning to this alternative as a healthier way to enjoy a cool dessert. C can I come too? Robbie, I only well, she have bigger than him. For me and Joe. Taco Bell's seafood salad. Oh, yeah, I used to. I ain't gonna lie to you. I used to punish the fuck at a Taco Bell too, though. I don't know what it was about Taco Bell, but the restaurant chain best associated with oh no, I just used to punish it. Runs decided to try to invent a healthy. It used to be so addictive to compete with the successful fillet of fish at McDonald's. In this vintage commercial, I don't know how I would have felt about Taco Bell having seafood though. Like, how do y'all feel about that? Let me know down below, cause they not no juicy. Uh, what's it? What's that shit called? Juicy coming from a chain. Juicy seafood or no um mighty crab? They ain't none of that. So why would they? try to do seafood solution to compete with the seafood market would have just been to introduce fish tacos however taco bell decided they were going to do something completely different and decided on a salad instead i don't know what bro y'all gonna get on taco bell for they meat you gotta get on every fucking fast food chain for they meat because nobody let's be honest let's keep it a straight bro let's keep it a buck right now nobody ain't using the best meat in they shit nowhere near the best meat 
thing was served inside an edible taco it's all fake bowl. does anyone really i'm just gonna put that out there into the into the taco into the air you know what i'm saying i'm gonna pollute the air with the truth and i know y'all don't like that y'all gonna put y'all mask y'all gas mask on and shit wendy's super bar you eat all that i won't be responsible y'all like living in lies that's the problem i know it ain't all y'all but a lot of y'all and z love you so guess what z gonna help you out super bar hold on what they say a big self-serve buffet bar that featured salads fruit fuck is a super bar and pasta like a pasta section included two times a buffet sauce options and garlic bread made from hamburger buns in the mexican section were nachos refried beans and a build your own taco bar then dessert was a choice between chocolate or vanilla pudding the super bar cost about 2.99 per person about 540 today after inflation which if you ask us is a steal and a lot of other people thought so too in fact so many people loved the idea that wendy's really couldn't keep up hey they was thinking though i'm not gonna lie to you preparing their regular orders they now had to do their usual job with at least they was thinking of cleaning about some shit that actually somewhat makes sense yeah that was a steal like she just said it's probably not very profitable to be charging that little when you know that people are going back for as many helpings as they can face deep and abusing that free refill policy. By 1998, the Super Bar was discontinued, although some locations still carried it until 2006. Is this the gentleman who ruined the buffet? Help yourself to seconds and tap that screen for our next great video. Yeah. New to our channel and want to join our notification squad? It's easy. After you bang that subscribe button, just ring that. Like she said, it was hard for them to hold it up. They should have they just hired, they should have just hired fucking crazy amounts of people to keep that shit up ain't nobody trying to work for wendy's though you know what i'm saying so yeah um we just seen all the crazy ideas that uh fast food places have came up with in the past few years uh not gonna lie to you this is why i don't eat that shit because yeah y'all not finna be fucking with my food all the time you know what i'm saying like, I can just eat at home, eat whatever the fuck I want, eat what my body desires, and be good. You know what I'm saying? I can do my own experiments on my own food in the most, in the most healthiest fashion ever. You know what I'm saying? The shit that I eat, you, you see me, you know? Like, you you see me. The shit that I eat is out of this world, bro. Like, if I wanted to, I could sell my own shit for profit. I just don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I, I'll stick to doing music and influencing. I'm not going to sell none of my food. I do be putting y'all on with some shit on TikTok uh, every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? I don't be doing it like on a consistent basis, but I just want y'all to know, this what, is this what we own, bro. Like, th this is really what we own. This is how I've gained because I've been leveling up, I've been changing my diet around, and I've been eating as healthy as possible. But one thing about me, I don't knock how, I don't necessarily just knock how people eat, like, if it works for you, if you are still able to function and, uh, you know, still be at, uh, uh, you know, still have high quality energy, keep on doing what you're doing. But if you're one of those people who you be feeling unmotivated a lot, you be stressing a lot, you don't never want to put uh, things into motion and you always lazy, nigga, you need to, you need to, you need to start questioning your diet right this instant. Right this instant, because that's what they put in their food. They put in, they put in certain chemicals and they put certain ingredients in there to have your ass stuck. And y'all don't, y'all don't know it. And hey, it's cool. You don't know it. It's cool. It's totally, it's one hundred percent cool. That's what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know that was the video. Uh, if I had to pick which one that I would rather prefer out of all of them, uh. I don't even, I don't even remember all of them, to be honest with you. We going I don't even remember all of them, but I'm gonna say, uh, Wendy's, they're sound legit. They're sound legit. I don't really remember all of them, though, but I'm gonna just say Wendy's for right now. They're sound pretty legit. They just needed to hire more people. But anyways, uh, yeah, you know, that was a, that was a nice little vid. Craziest food items. Uh, which one did you like the most? Which one did you dislike the most? Let me know right now but anyways uh yeah i thank y'all i love y'all for watching uh I, i'm gonna love y'all forever i hope y'all having a blessed day um as a matter of fact if you are sitting here watching this right now 
You are giving me a view. That's a blessing to me, so guess what? I'm going to ask God to bless you right now. Thank you, Lord. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get blessed for sure. For that. You're going to get blessed. Just know that. If something just randomly happens good to you, you already know why. But anyways, uh, yeah, I thank y'all. I love y'all. Three God. I'm going to say that again. Three God. Out this bitch.